In today's video, I'll be covering Tron from a daily and weekly time frame. The ticker symbol is TRXUSD. I always like to start uh, from a weekly or even a monthly perspective uh, and work my way down to the daily and sometimes to the intraday levels. Today, I'm going to start with the weekly time frame for, for Tron. And I want to point out a, a number of things that are taking place for this, for this cryptocurrency. Number one, you can see here we have a cup formation that has developed really since, since the beginning of 2018. And you could consider that we're in the, about halfway stage of forming the handle of a cup with handle pattern. The measured move of a pattern like that is about 2,500% from, from the handle trigger, which would be an impressive advance to say the least. Moving, zooming in, taking a look here, you'll see some interesting convergence taking place that uh, provides Tron with a, a significant amount of, of support at, at the current position. Number one, we have the 2020 high here at spot 053. It converges with the 50 week simple moving average, which comes in at spot 053. We, then we have the 2020 ascending trend line coming in, give or take 0 0.507, 050, sorry. So right there, you can see if you were a buyer of, of Tron today, you'd be sitting with a pretty comfortable area of support. Turning down to the, to the daily time frame, you can see here that, that the low of this particular week actually comes off the mid line of a descending parallel channel. One of the negatives that you can see in this on the daily chart here is we don't have an impulsive move off the low. You'll see here that when we reached oversold conditions in June, we had an impulsive move. When we came very close to an oversold condition, we had an impulsive move. We reached an oversold condition here. We have not generated an impulsive move. Yesterday was only a 7.23 advance, which you know is probably about average or below average for what took place yesterday. If this does, does trigger to the upside and we get a daily close above the, the upper resistance line of the parallel channel, we're immediately going to find resistance at the 50 day at spot 064 and then the 200 day at spot 071. So, my recommendation is for you to look at buying on a daily close above the upper uh, support line of the descending channel. As a, as a pilot buy. And then if we get a daily close above the 200 day, double your position, and then look for a 70% advance, which is about the measured move of, of the ascending parallel channel. So just to roughly tell you here, that would work out to a move uh, to spot 106 from the from the the resistance line of the descending parallel channel now of course this could resolve to the downside and we'd be looking at a significant loss down to here but at this point as long as there's not a daily close below the midline of the descending parallel channel you have to lean bullish with a position size an initial position size what i like to call a pilot buy and you, you have the opportunity then to participate in, in a 70% move, which is very respectable and will have a, an impact on your, on your portfolio.